So today is no different. We're getting three players added to the Team Affinity Season 1 in honor of Jackie Robinson. That's why it's set slash Series 42. Today we get from the Minnesota Twins, Jose Barrios. We get from the Cincinnati Reds, Luis Castillo. And then last but not least, from the San Francisco Giants, we get ourselves Mike Yesremski. So what we're going to be doing is what we do on each and every single segment. We hop into MLB The Show and then see the repertoire, see what the attributes we believe will look like, and basically go ahead and give you guys the review of the rankings of these three. So let's get into it instantly. Now, Mike, Mike wants you to know that if you're new here, make sure you hit that red subscribe button, turn on that notification bell, and let's get to 42 likes for Jackie Robinson. We have yet to have 42 likes. Let's go ahead and hit 42 likes on this video right here. Click on the channel, more Blade Mist, subscribe to my other two channels, and then follow me on all socials which are listed above me. Now, Mike, I believe out of every hitter we've seen so far, he's going to be the most balanced hitter, most likely going to be the most balanced player where he's going to have good enough contact, better than good enough contact, honestly. He's going to have great contact, good enough fielding, good enough speed. I think that his 85, 86, 87 overall, it should rival Joey Gallo, but everybody knows at the end of the day, everyone prefers Joey Gallo over anyone else. When it comes to the Reds, we have Luis Castillo. Now, Luis Castillo, he's on the verge of diamond. Him getting this team affinity card lets me know that he most likely is not a diamond and I'm going to be the show 21 to start it off. Now, his primary pitch is most likely going to stay be in a circle change with the two fastballs and a slider. The repertoire is a pretty good repertoire. It has a pitch that has horizontal movement and then one that has vertical movement, which is exactly what you want. And a starting pitcher would have preferred, obviously, a sinker rather than a two-seamer as for some reason, the two-seamer always gets smacked in MLB The Show, but definitely should be an interesting starting pitcher. I'm wondering if they're gonna be adding a lot more starting pitchers or if maybe this year they're gonna give us some relievers as well because last season or last year in MLB The Show, we got no relievers from the team affinities. It was mainly starting pitchers. Last but not least, we have Jose Barrios who dropped all the way down to a silver last year. He's looking to bounce back this season does he have a chance of going blue, meaning going diamond? He probably does, but he needs to have a Cy Young caliber year. Now, Slurve, that is going to be his primary pitch following MLB The Show 21 or entering MLB The Show 21 since it was the pitch he threw the most. Then they're most likely giving him a sinker after the sinker, a fastball, and then a changeup, and those will be his four main pitches. I think in terms of attributes, it's going to be pretty similar to this with the hits per nine, case per nine, walks per nine, and home runs per nine juiced up a bit. But other than that, stamina might go up a bit as well. He's another good starting pitcher. Now, the only thing I have to say is, these starting pitchers, Luis Castillo and Jose, they're both good. They're not great, but they're both good. They're good enough to enter Diamond Dynasty in season one or the first month and go into ranked seasons and excel with. Now, are they gonna be good long-term? Jose Barrios, most likely not. Why? Because his fastball is only 93, 92, and then his off-speed pitches are both vertical movements. So a good hitter is gonna know Anything he throws slow is going to drop, so I just got to move my PCI down and slow down my swing. And then this fastball being 93 to 92 is not going to overpower you. So for Jose, we have him at number three out of the three drop today. At number two, I'm going to go ahead and put Mike Yasremski just because you already have Joey Gallo in right field. And with the emphasize they've made on fielding and playing players in secondary positions, I think that you're most likely going to go ahead and keep Joey Gallo in right field and not try to move him anywhere or try to move Mike Yastrzemski anywhere as you will most likely get better options such as Ken Griffey Jr. for center field and then in left field, who knows what we have left. And then coming in at number one is going to be Luis Castillo. Why? The changeup, great pitch. Slider, great pitch. You got vertical and horizontal movement, but the most important thing, especially when you get into the later difficulties or the latter difficulties, is his fastball is over 97 miles per hour. So what that's going to allow you to do is overpower hitters, which is the most important thing when you get to Hall of Fame and Legend difficulties. But that's going to be it for today. 
I'm most likely going to have another video coming out, another prediction for the five legends that are going to be revealed tomorrow. So make sure you all stay tuned for that. As always, make sure you guys go ahead and hit that like button. We're aiming for 42. Hit that subscribe button if you're new here. Turn on that notification bell for all notifications. Follow me on all socials. Click on the channel, more Blade Miss, and go ahead and subscribe to those other channels. And as always, have a blessed day and night. Stay positive, stay safe, stay blessed. And I'll catch you all in the next one. Peace out.